Homelessness is an issue most communities contend with and provide services that can help men, women, and families break the cycle. Help normally comes in the form of food, shelter, or job services. We found a unique program in St. Louis that is making a big impact on the lives of homeless men by allowing them to use art to express their experiences. So they have like what's called 3D projections. I feel that the Collaborative Thursdays program is quite integral to our rehabilitation, if you will. Why? Because it affords us men the opportunity to draw within ourselves perhaps some latent um, gifts that were overshadowed by our preoccupation with other things, absorption with self, drugs, addiction, despair, um, hidden talents that we long forgot that we were fortunate enough to be blessed with. And Collaborative Thursdays has given us an invitation, a license, if you will, to explore those once again and become very proud of our our traits. In the process of, you know, this little place and they're trying something different and experiencing different things, it gives them a little freedom to see their own lives as something that has hope. And the world just opens up to them in a way that they had not even been aware it had been closed to them. What are we going to do with these pictures? Every Thursday, men from a transitional program at St. Louis Peter and Paul Community Services work with artists in the Community Collaborative Art Program which helps them reshape their lives and rediscover themselves through art. What if you just make one sentence in your mind, like right now, that has to do with like where you've been and where you're going? I am consistently inconsistent. I need consistency. I've been in the dark and I'm heading for the light. I've been, been in the, the dark, dark and I'm heading for the way light. Forgiveness is the key. Is the in the collaborative art program, the men try out a variety of different types of art. They've been experiencing uh, uh, photography, writing, performance art. Uh, there's been some, uh, some drawing, uh, metalworking, glass blowing, dance. <laughs> I like that shot. The program was started to give participants an opportunity to document their journey from homelessness to independent living through art. As the program progressed, organizers began to see something they hadn't expected. They began to see the men sharing and expressing themselves in ways they never had before. While you're working on things and you're developing ideas and you're learning to work with materials maybe that you've never worked with before, there's also conversation that happens and people were getting to know each other better and the case manager was able to get information about people that he had never gotten before and guys were sharing stories about their life that they never would have shared, you know, about family or work challenges or mental health or, you know, sobriety. The art program creates a community where the men don't have to focus on their usual daily challenges and homelessness, a community where they can see themselves in a new light. When somebody has been uh, an alcoholic or a drug addict for 20, 30 years, uh, and all of a sudden they are not. One of their biggest challenges is creating a social world for themselves. They can't go back to their old associates, and they're very isolated. When you're homeless, the only other people that you see normally are other homeless people, social workers, and law enforcement people. And the collaborative gave me an opportunity to meet so many people. The program also helps the men grow because working on art helps build confidence and helps them discover their unique gifts and talents. It has invited me to dig deep within my spirit, my soul, not my nuances, my wants, my frivolity. It has invited me to say, Jerry, do you know how valuable you are as an individual? Look what you can do with your hands, your mouth, your eyes, your ideas, your brain. When they would maybe not be too excited about starting a project and then they'd get into it and find out, oh, I can do this. 
I can do something that I never thought I could do, or I can express myself through writing, or um, whatever it was. And then to see that some, not all, but some of them could um, just find a place in themselves that they didn't know was there. Art gives people a voice, um, whether they never had a voice or whether they're reclaiming that voice. And they want to be able to say, this is who I am, and even though I am homeless or have been homeless, I won't always be homeless. I do have hope now. Programs help me to stay focused on a better productive life, to learn the value of what it is to live instead of have life. Another unexpected outcome has been that some of the men have continued to participate in the arts program long after they've gotten on their feet and graduated from the transitional program. My feelings are intense that I know my goal. I love it. I just, I just love it. It's part of me now. Graduate Floyd Lacey is now a big fan of the arts. I love to dance, I'm picking up on dance, choreography, you know, uh, the art of music. It's changed from being homeless, confused, to being a productive citizen, to have my own place and have things that I want to do, an income, able to do things, I mean, to venture different avenues. Dance theater is one thing that I'm into. And then when it yeah. starts... Graduate Larry Sherman has a job and a home now and continues to come to the art program because of the friends he's made and his new love of the arts. Since being in the program, he's been an extra in a movie and does stand-up comedy around town. He says his life is better now than before he was homeless. I didn't really have a purpose in life. I was making a living. I had a place to live, but wasn't really getting anywhere. Recently I've been doing some stand-up comedy at a, a few places around town. Uh, enjoy that. Uh, I mean, I have something to do when I get up in the morning. Husband and wife documentary filmmakers Frank and Lou Oros were so impressed with the impact art was making in the program that they made a documentary about it. I've witnessed the release of potential. The release of potentials that I think these guys never knew they possessed. They also wanted to expand people's perceptions about homelessness. To demonstrate, uh, to show uh, who the homeless are, and why they're homeless, and the fact that they're really no different than we are the we are them, they are us. Uh, many of us are literally a paycheck or two from being homeless ourselves. You know, you lose the mortgage and, and you're on the streets. A lot of the guys we have now um, are victims of the economy. They were one paycheck away from losing their house or uh, a marriage fell apart and then they lost the house and then they lost a job and then a health problem got in the way and you know then there was no place else to go. They are from all walks of life, all education levels, all races and ethnicities. The men in the art program have made a commitment to be in a two-year transitional program at Peter and Paul Community Services. You don't get in the transitional program until you've decided I want my life to change. And you have to be willing to kick your addictions and get a job and start walking the right path to get to the you know, permanent home again. The collaborative is going into its 13th year and is supported by the Regional Arts Commission and the Missouri Arts Council. Art has given me the opportunity to know that there is beauty beyond that which I immediately see. You just have to look for it and find it.